Scott checking in for Andy's Man Club. Monday night's share yeah, for Andy's Man Club. Yep, yeah, it's been a really good positive week. My week's been really good, so how's my week been? Positive, I've really enjoyed it. I've been looking after my partner Sarah. We've been talking a bit better. And we've been getting understanding more. Whereas, you know, some people just feel frightened to talk. They're like, but me, I've learned to talk now and I've been offering that little bit of advice, you know, and trying to keep people positive and tell people they can do it. You know, I'm starting to get trusted a bit better now and people are certain, I think people are realising that I am a decent guy and, you know, I, I don't go shitting on people. But once you've had your heart broken, guys, so many times it gets really bad. You can't trust people in the end. That's just how it goes, but I'm here, man. And I enjoy what I do. I certainly do. But yeah, I'm not giving up on certain people. Some people think they're not worth carrying on with and they should be thrown in the bin. But no, I'm quite strong when it comes to that. Like, but So, cooking, bikes, all that stuff this week has been real good. Got my holiday coming up next week, so I'll try and get an Andy's Man Club meet um, week share out for Andy's Man Monday night share. But I won't be at the club next week. I'll do the online version. That's going to be a bit upsetting for me because I've never missed a meeting at the club. It's just me. I've never missed a meeting since I've been going over a year and a half now, I think it is. And I've never missed one meeting. I feel so proud that I've been going that long and I've never ever missed a meeting. So it really does help. I mean, I've had some comeback from the club sometimes. I still felt bad, but it always helps to get out. That's just me. So a big shout out to Sarah, my lovely partner. Hope you're all right. Shout out to Wayne from the club. Roger, he'll be watching. Big shout out to Roger. Big Dave. Nice nice guy, Dave. Old bus, ex-bus driver, Dave. We are going to try and get this fishing trip. For a couple of, in the next couple of weeks or so, I'm sweating for my mate John. Big shout out to my mate John Sandigger. He won't see this because he doesn't do internet stuff, right? He's not very thingy, but he'd love to. Big, big shout out to him. For, he's going through a bit of a patch at the moment. Where, but I hope your pre-op goes really well this Wednesday, mate. You're a great guy, you know. Really enjoy going fishing with you. And yeah, hope your pre-op goes well so we can get on this boat and go boat fishing. Because Dave's up for it and that's quite a few want a couple of us wanna go, so it'd be brilliant we can book the boat. We know the guy that we want to book it with. We spoke to him and all that, so that's gonna be good. We'll just um hire the boat for like looks like it's gonna be about four of us. So we'll think it's what is it, three fifty for the four of us, book it. Normally it takes six, but if we book it for four of us, I think that'll take, be about three fifty. But we don't all mind going in that because we're going to have a laugh and catch some big cod out the river and stuff. It's going to be nice. But big shout out to me mate Graham. One of my subscribers, Graham. I fished with him. He's a really great guy. I forget your last name, but he'll know who he is. He, he's done all right in the Euro the Euro fishing competition. The fishing Euros. You know, the World, World Championship Open on the coast on weekend. I saw you getting a few awards and stuff. A few bits. Won a bit of gear he did. So a big shout out to Graham, he'll know who he is. Done really well, so top man. He's a real good angler, that guy, he really is. I've seen him fishing, yeah, he knows how to catch. Certainly, if, if, he, if, if there's fish to be had, he can catch them. So that's a real good shout out to my mate Graham. What a top guy. So yeah, he'll know who he is. He'll be in the comments. He'll probably comment, but yeah, you did real well, man. Proud of you. Proud of everyone that's got through another week and made it through to this Monday for Andy's Man Club. Sorry it's not a live one, but <clears throat> the phone that I have the app on for doing the live streams in re at Workplace Repair, trying to get one good phone out of two phones, so I'm back to just doing this pre-recording. But it's going to be a positive week. I can't, I'm off to see Neil in a minute. I'm just going to wait for my me, me work gear, my Andy's Man Club gear to do. Out the dryer, it'll soon be dry. Then I'm off to go see Neil. And then off from there, from seeing Neil to the club with Neil. Big shout out to Ricky Bolton, my good mate. He's struggling at the moment, really is struggling with his leg and that. Hope you get through it, man. You know I'm here to talk. And if you need me to do out for you, mate, like pop the shops, right? if I'm in the area, I will all, I'll help you out the best I can, mate. I know you're going through a rough patch. But thank yourself lucky you're still here, mate. I thank myself lucky I'm still here, mate. 
I had a real bad accident and I was dead at my, seeing a my crash, mate, and I wish I wasn't here. You know, I, I said to myself, I wish I didn't survive it. I was having bad times. I was still suffering with the nightmares and the PTSD, which I've got PTSD, guys, which I had a diagnosis of, which is, yep, yeah, I can't treat the diagnosis of the PTSD until I have the actual um, assessment, full mental health assessment and then go and see a psychiatrist for a a medication review and he can give me better medication hopefully but that's the long story but on here I don't I can talk a bit about medication in a sense because it's not at the club but I don't go into what I take and stuff but you know medication's not for everybody and it ain't for me but anything that'll help me sleep and give me that little stop them nightmares will do me the world of good but no I'm gonna get ready for the club so big shout out to my partner Sarah can't wait. I'll be seeing you at work tomorrow for a bit. And I can't wait to go on holiday with her. God, my me and Sarah are in a castle. Beautiful. I've had a shave and all. Oh, look at me. I'm fresh face. I look like a baby face, Nelson. <laughs> but yeah, she's really cheered me up, Sarah, you know. Finally admitted, you know, to let me in a little bit and say, can I help? And I, and I am. I really do love the woman. She's amazing. I've never met anyone as, as sweet as her and she just needs to see that. This is a shout out to her because I know she's amazing and she does so much good stuff and she looks after everybody else but herself sometimes. She's so selfish towards herself and always helping others. But yeah, I thought I would give her a good shout out. It might embarrass her here, it might, but I don't know. But she is amazing and in the comments guys tell her how much amazing if you've seen what stuff she does and yeah we've all made mistakes like she agrees she's made mistakes and she's trying to you know but we've all made mistakes we can't live in the past we can't live on the mistakes we've made from the past we've got to make the new mistakes in the future you know look forward to the future and stuff we can't let the um past rule our lives we've got to live on to the future now make a new future for ourselves we can't just live on past so shout out to everybody that's you know got through this week and remember guys you can't live on what you've done in the past don't keep dwelling on what you did yeah you made mistakes we've all made mistakes boys and girls but don't keep living them and don't keep remembering oh, i made that mistake and feeling rubbish about yourself for what you've done you can't help it yeah those were them this is now start living your life guys top tip for this week stop living the future the past and live for the future plan your future not your past don't live on what you've done in the past okay top tip and look after yourself, yeah? Mental health, right? Top quote for this week. Mental health is like a bicycle, yeah? If you fail to look after your bicycle, your bike will not look after you. It'll let you down. You'll get snap chain, brakes won't work, things will seize. If you don't look after your mental health, it won't, your body won't work properly. Your head won't process things. You won't be able to go on and do stuff. So mental health, top tip for this week. If you notice a problem with your health, Deal with it straight away. Don't push things away. Got anything coming up in your life. If it comes to letters or out like that. You know things that need important things you need doing. Don't tear things up and don't just ignore them. Deal with them okay guys. You can do it. Deal with them. Don't push them away and hide them because it only gets worse. If you've got a problem with your bike. Fix it before it gets a bigger problem. Deal with the small problems before they come big problems. Top tip for this week guys. I'm signing out. Scott Senior, check it out for Andy's Man Club, Monday Night Share. Big shout out to everyone. Big shout out to Landlock Sea Fishing Rob. Hope you're doing well, mate. Everybody at the club, take care. Bye-bye now.